I'm Mauli, a professor at uh, RVU University. I have joined a year back in RVU as a part of a computer science school. I come from industry with the 28 years of experience from DRDO, which is a defense R&D lab, as well as Motorola Semiconductor Company, LSI, and Sharp and Honeywell, which are product companies. I come here with a lot of industry experience and then also academic experience because I was working at IIIT Bangalore for five years and then I was sent to Myanmar or an Indo-Myanmar government project where I started building uh, the BE computer science and ECE department from the scratch and developing the curriculum as well as the syllabus and lab components for a five-year course of BE. Now, after having worked in IIIDB, when I got a chance to see that RB University also is starting a new computer science branch and I joined at the beginning and I am very happy to be here because I have started the course curriculum here from the first year and I'm going to talk about two courses that I have handled in the last one year of my uh, wonderful experience at RVU. Here, first year, what we taught was our digital systems and computer architecture. This is a basic course which talks about how does a computer work? How does the program that people write in CSE department works on the hardware? So the students learn not only by understanding the theory behind it, but we also have a lab component wherein they build circuits using the digital circuits as well as they understand how digital circuits are built using transistors and diode. So we start from the electronics, we get into digital design and we talk about how does a computer takes instructions and executes them. Uh, that uh, wonderful experience that people have, the students understand about it and they also learn about how memory, different kinds of memories are used by the processor. The continuation of the first semester course, second semester I took another course which is called Embedded Systems and Microcontrollers. This is the chip that we used. Here, this is the Raspberry Pi Pico which has come two years back into the market, built with using ARM core which you can see in any of the mobiles that we have. This course actually explains about how a microcontroller, a ARM based microcontroller works, how does people write program and then how does it actually execute the ARM instructions which is called machine instruction or assembly instructions inside a processor. So here in this course we teach not only the C programming and so internally how does C, C program works on a processor. So this is a wonderful kit which can be which is given to every student in the class and they connect it to the laptop and run the program along with me during the class. So this is a more of hands-on experience where people learn how C programs work and then how does assembly instructions they write which execute get executed on the hardware. So students get a wonderful experience of how a computer science test write assembly programs or any C program that they write or higher level language programs finally runs on the hardware. So the focus of this entire teaching in RV University is to give them the actual practical experience of how things work underneath. So a successful computer science engineers need to know how does a program runs on the hardware and which is the focus of these two courses. Not only this, even the going forward, whatever courses we offer in RVU, we make sure that people understand the depth as well as the breadth of computer science engineering. It's a great opportunity for me to talk to you. Welcome to RVU.